the golden touch of Clyde Midas. In the rugged, sun-baked plains of the Old West, there lay a town named Prosperity. It was a town like no other, with saloons that buzzed with life and dusty streets, where cowboys reigned supreme. The legend of Prosperity was shaped not by gold rushes or railroad tracks, but by the tale of one man, Clyde Midas. Clyde was not your ordinary cowboy. Tall and lean, with a gaze that could pierce through the toughest hide, he was a drifter who had seen it all. He rode into Prosperity one sweltering afternoon, his horse weary and his pockets empty. The townsfolk paid him little mind, for drifters came and went like the desert winds. But Clyde had a secret, one that would soon change the fate of Prosperity forever. Legend had it that Clyde Midas had stumbled upon an ancient Navajo shaman in the shadowy recesses of the Grand Canyon. The shaman, impressed by Clyde's resilience and bravery, offered him a gift, a touch that could turn anything into gold. With a solemn warning that this power was both a blessing and a curse, the shaman vanished into the ether, leaving Clyde to ponder his newfound fortune. Clyde's first test of the shaman's gift was a simple rock. As his fingers brushed the stone, it shimmered and more fed into solid gold. Astonished, Clyde realized the potential of his touch. He rode into prosperity, his mind racing with possibilities. At the heart of the town was a ramshackle saloon, owned by an old gambler named Sam Whiskey Wheeler. Whiskey had a heart of gold but a bankroll of dust. Clyde, seeing an opportunity, struck a deal with Whiskey. In exchange for a share of the saloon, Clyde would turn the establishment into a palace of gold. Whiskey, though skeptical, agreed. As Clyde touched the wooden bar, it gleamed and transformed into a gleaming gold masterpiece. Word spread like wildfire, and soon the saloon was packed with curious townsfolk eager to witness the miracle. Prosperity began to boom and Clyde's touch turned everything he encountered into gold, saddles, spurs, even the tumbleweeds glistened in the sun. However, the shaman's warning echoed in Clyde's mind. The town's newfound wealth attracted outlaws and bandits from miles around. Greed and envy festered among the townsfolk, friendships crumbled, and trust became a rare commodity. Prosperity's golden age had a tarnished edge. One fateful day, Clyde's curse revealed its true nature. In a moment of weakness, he reached out to comfort a crying child, only to see the boy turn into a lifeless golden statue. Horror and guilt consumed Clyde as he realized the full extent of his power's curse. Determined to set things right, Clyde sought out the shaman once more. He journeyed back to the Grand Canyon, braving its treacherous paths until he found the shaman waiting. With a heavy heart, Clyde begged for the curse to be lifted. The shaman, seeing Clyde's genuine remorse, agreed to revoke the gift. But there was a price. Clyde would lose all the wealth he had created and live as a humble cowboy once more. Clyde returned to prosperity, the town now stripped of its golden luster. The saloon was once again a simple wooden shack, the streets dusty and worn. But the townsfolk, having learned the true cost of greed, welcomed Clyde back with open arms. They rebuilt prosperity, this time on the foundations of hard work and community. Clyde Midas lived out his days as a revered figure not for his golden touch but for the lessons he brought to prosperity. The legend of Clyde Midas became a tale of redemption, a reminder that true wealth lies not in gold but in the bonds we share and the lives we touch. And so, the town of prosperity thrived, forever grateful to the cowboy who turned their hearts to gold. Readings, esteemed adventures, and cosmic wonders, today as we stand at the crossroads of fantasy and science fiction, we invite you to partake in a noble quest, but before we embark on this enchanting journey, let us harness the power that lies at your fingertips alike. Subscribe, comment, and share buttons. These seemingly ordinary buttons hold the key to extraordinary feats. Behold the like button, a mere tap, yet a formidable spell of approval upon our content. Your likes are the elixirs that fortify our spirit and propel our channel to greater heights. Next, the subscribe button, a mystical key that unlocks the gates to our fantastical world. By subscribing, you become a revered member of our fellowship, ensuring you never miss a moment of our magical saga. Now enter the comment section, your personal parchment to inscribe your thoughts, feelings, and magical incantations. Your comments are the echoes of wisdom resonating through the enchanted forest of our community. And behold the share button, a celestial artifact that scatters the magic far and wide. Share the joy with fellow adventurers and cosmic wayfarers, so they too may join our noble quest. Ready yourselves, noble viewers, for the quest awaits. Wield your magical powers like, subscribe, comment, and share. Together, let us forge this channel into a sanctuary of fantasy and a haven for science fiction aficionados. Gratitude, dear patrons, for being integral to our mystical sojourn. Until our paths converge once more, may your days be adorned with enchantment and your nights be filled with stardust. This is Ryan Baker, bidding you farewell from fantasy, science fiction, story, Remember to spread the magic.